So good afternoon to all the jury members and the paper presenters present here. I am Divya Sri Anna from University Law College and Department of Studies in Law, Bangalore University, Karnataka. So my topic for today's presentation is uh, organophosphate poisoning or uh, OP poisoning, a medical legal overview. So I'll be continuing. Uh, I'll be using uh, my the contents of this presentation will be introduction, nature of the poison. Uh, use and administration of the poison, medical legal aspects of it, and the conclusion. So, toxicology is a branch of science that deals with the toxicity of substances, and that term connotes unwanted bad effects created by various substances, where the extent of effect varies, which may be trivial or grave. At this point, it becomes very important to us to know about poisons and its medical legal aspects. So, coming to the introduction. OP poisons or OP compounds are extensively used as pesticides for soft-bodied uh, insects in the agriculture. So these are the in insecticides which are deadly poison and they are easily available. When we see in India, it's easily available in India. So the nature of these poisons were not known until the Kerala food poisoning tragedy that happened in 1958. They are the alkyne and aval phosphates, and they are being used increasingly for homicidal and suicidal purposes. And also, it is being used for uh, accidental as poisons, and it's as it is very easily available. So, seeing the nature, the WHO, that is World Health Organization, has classified these OP poisons or OP compounds on the basis of lethality into low toxicity, moderate toxicity, and high toxic compounds. So as I told, these are deadly compounds and complex organic compounds. They, these contain sulfur, phosphorus, and other organic radicals and are in the form of alkane or aryl phosphate. So these OP poisons are easily absorbed from the skin, respiratory organs, and also GI systems. So what it results in malfunctioning of automotive, somatic, and central nervous system. So going to uh, see the usage and the administration, it's used extensively as uh, pesticides. So we can see it is used in agriculture and horticulture. And also it is used uh, to kill household bugs, flies and other pests. So it can be administered through a food outranks. And also we have it is it has been proved that inhalation has also been fatal. It's easily absorbed by the human skin and also can be injected. So going to the medical legal aspects, which is an important uh, aspect here. So the forensic medicine, in forensic medicine, all that are included in certain manners, namely natural, suicidal, homicidal, or accidental, or sudden. So poisoning is most, most commonly uh, accidental, but a large number of suicidal or in many cases, uh, suicidal gestures also. So it is now the most common method of self-destruction in advanced communities due to the easy availability of toxic substances. The in, here, going uh, seeing through the OP poisoning, the intensity of poisons, poisonous effect is more if the phosphorus is in the solution form than when it is in the solid form. So in the Indian law deals with the aspect of poisoning related crimes to ensure that there's a remedy and protective measure that is established to prevent and deter such crimes. So there are many sections in Indian Penal Code, such as Section 284, 299, 300, 304, 326, and 328 of Indian Penal Code dealing with offenses relating to handling and administration of poisonous substances. So if you see the Section 302 of IPC, which deals with punishment for murder, and also it says homicides which are caused due to poisons. 304B deals with... Um, punishment for dowry death. And it also sees that majority of the poisoning related deaths in both rural and urban areas of India. So thus, through all these legislations or through all these uh, acts, these can be observed that the Indian law deals with the aspect of poisoning from, from it, causing death to the uh, aspect of injury or hurt. The laws are very stringent, uh, stringent in India and also that they ensure that there's an effective remedy to the victim against the perpetrator. So as per Indian law, administration of any substance with the intention of causing hurt or death is punishable. So there are many acts, there are many legislations which uh, govern the um, poison, sale of poison, control, uh, possession of poison. So the sale of poison, control and possession is governed by India, uh, by 
uh, through these acts, such as the Poison Act of 1919, the Drugs Act of 1940, the Drugs and Magic Remedies Act of 1954, the Narcotic Drugs Act and Psychotropic Substances Act of 1985, and the Pharmacy Act of 1984. So to conclude, in India, there are more than there is a record of more than 50,000 people dying every year due to this toxic exposure. Thus, cause of such exposure could be intentional, self-perpetrated, homicidal, or accidental, or deliberate. It is extremely important to use the technique, modern technique of forensic sciences, analyzing the presence of toxin in the body during an autopsy. So I would like to conclude by putting forth a set of suggestions such as effective implementation of forensic toxicology in India, in the country, like better equipment and trained professionals, proper handling of crime, crime scene, efficient methodology to identify toxins. Next, uh, lower suicides which are poison related. So in order to achieve this uh, criteria, there's, uh, there's a need that the government should ensure that there's a check on the ease of availability of these toxins and it should also make sure that common man does not get access to these hazardous substances. So the next uh, suggestion would be identification of difference between poison, suicide and homicide. So there should be a thorough crime scene investigation and finally the aspect related to regulation of sale of toxins. So when substances such as these pesticides which have OP poisons are distributed, the purpose of the distribution should be noted down. And such measures can be uh, taken by the government and the authorities to control the OP poisoning cases. Thank you.